Hey everyone, it's David Sirota. So there were a couple of deadly blasts here in Colorado a couple of months ago at oil and gas sites. And in response, a number of communities have considered a better regulating oil, the oil and gas operations, drilling and fracking, within their midst. This is a classic battle over local control. Uh, Erie, Colorado, Thornton, Colorado, uh, Fort Morgan, Colorado have all considered various kinds of regulations uh, to better regulate uh, fracking and drilling in their communities. Oftentimes this, these kinds of operations are happening in residential areas. And so there were concerns about uh, these explosions and what they mean for the safety uh, of people in those communities. Uh, this is a classic battle over local control. Now that phrase, local control, is one you've heard from Republicans a lot. They oftentimes talk about the need for local control. But there's a catch. You don't often hear them talking about it when it comes to their fossil fuel industry donors. The oil and gas industry uh, has been trying to prevent local regulations. They have tried to pass, and it have been successful in, in some cases, uh, laws that would ban or preempt local communities from passing uh, regulations at the local level uh, that could limit fracking and drilling. Uh, and so what we saw uh, this week was an example uh, of the pushback against those local regulations. Colorado's Republican Senator Cory Gardner uh, he has taken $1.1 million worth of campaign cash from oil and gas donors. Uh, he gave a speech to oil and gas executives here in Colorado this week, uh, and he slammed the local cities and towns in his own state for passing those health and safety regulations uh, after that deadly blast. I mean, he really he went after those towns, telling, uh, slamming them to cor corporate executives, oil and gas executives, during his speech. Now remember, Gardner is the chairman of the National Republican Senatorial Committee. That's the big fundraising apparatus of Republican senators. Uh, so here's a guy who's got, who's very close to oil and gas donors, who's raising money for the Republican Party. He goes into a room of oil and gas executives and slams communities in his own state for passing regulations designed to address health and safety concerns about oil and gas drilling after a deadly set of explosions. I want to read you what he actually said. Here's what he said. Quote, We know there are big threats on the horizon. We know that there are risks of overregulation. We know that there are risks of special interest groups that are trying to drive ballot initiatives and other regulations at the local level that will drive out common sense economies. And we have to make sure that we are all aware of the dangers that that poses to the incredible jobs that we have been able to create. He went on to say, quote, ballot initiatives that would ban hydraulic fracturing. We have to make it very clear that that is not in the interest of Colorado. When it comes to policies that are trying to be enacted by interests, well-funded interests from New York or Los Angeles and local municipalities, that we make it clear that this is what's happening. Now, Cory Gardner is portraying the oil industry's fight against local communities and environmental groups as a David versus Goliath fight in which the oil industry, according to him, is the David. And the, these small towns and environmental groups are the Goliaths. And he made this speech and he issued that portrayal to the Colorado Oil and Gas Association, which has helped direct played a pivotal role in directing more than $80 million worth of political spending in Colorado in just the last four years. It's an incredible portrayal just to pretend that the oil and gas industry is somehow the underdog against small towns and environmental groups who want to better ensure the health and safety of their communities. I mean, that's incredible. But what's, what's politically significant here is how you see now a, a top Republican U.S. Senator slamming the idea of local control because it's become potentially problematic for his big oil and gas donors. This is a fight that is going to continue and it has been continuing all over the country. You have some states looking to ban fracking. You have other states like Texas, which have passed a law designed to prevent local cities and communities from passing any kind of regulation on oil and gas drilling. And as that oil and gas drilling uh, encroaches on residential communities, 
uh, throughout the country. You're going to see, I think, more communities pushing back, saying we have a right to regulate this operation uh, within the boundaries of our community. And you're going to see pushback from people like Cory Gardner, uh, who are backed and bankrolled by the oil and gas industry. You're going to see them push back and try to say that local communities aren't allowed to do this. Keep an eye out for this. This is going to be one of the most important fights over energy and the environment in this country in the next few years.